In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Good morning. And welcome to the Minor Basilican Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we celebrate the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. The core of true religion is the love of God. Moses commanded the people of Israel to love the Lord, their God, with all their heart, soul, and strength. In today's Gospel, Jesus proclaims this as the first and greatest commandment, and then joins to it the love of of neighbor. Our Christian life rests on the foundation of the intimate relationship between love of God and love of neighbor. My dear friends, as we come to thank God for the love that He has given us, for the love that He gives us life, let us continue thanking Him. Let us always remember with gratitude all the days of our life. We also come certainly to pray, especially for those who ask for our prayers, our loved ones, those who need the assistance, especially of our Blessed Mother. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through, 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 through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Mm -hmm. 
Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Shema Israel is the heart of the Hebrew faith. It is both prayer and profession of Israel's faith in the one and only God. A reading from the book of the Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Fear the Lord your God, and keep throughout the days of your lives all his statutes and commandments, which I enjoin on you, and thus have long life. Hear then, Israel, and be careful to observe them, that you may grow and prosper the more, in keeping with the promise of the Lord, the God of your fathers, to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my the Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled it be God, my Savior, you who gave great victories to your King and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my Jesus is our High Priest holy and undefiled, because He is God's Son, but because He knows our human weakness, He is our merciful intercessor before the Heavenly Father. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, the Levitical priests were many, because they were prevented by death from remaining in office. But Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him. Since he lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, and defiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priests, to offer sacrifice day after day. First, for his own sins, and then for those of the people. He did that once for all, when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests. But the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, 
which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is more is worth more than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices and when jesus saw that he answered with understanding he said to him you are not far from the kingdom of god and no one dared to ask him any more question the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Which is the first of all the commandments? This is a valid question, especially if the scribes or teacher of the law will ask Jesus, which Sa napakaraming mga batas na ginawa ng mga tao, lalong-lalo na ng mga pariseyo, ng mga eskribano, ng mga teachers of the law, I think they themselves are confused what to follow. Ano ba? ang susundin nila. Eh, lahat-lahat na yun, utos naman eh. Utos na ginawa nila galing sa Diyos. So, sa more than 300 laws that they created, they tried to test Jesus, which is the first of all the commandments. Knowing most probably that Jesus is not one of them, is not one of their students. Knowing that Jesus is an ordinary man from Nazareth. But when Jesus told the people he always thought with authority may kapangyarihan ang kanyang sinasabi. Kaya this is one test kung talaga may alam ang ating Panginoon. Eh, nakikita naman ng Panginoon eh kung anong ginagawa nila. Lalong-lalo na yung mga gamit nila. Hindi lamang yung may mga, mga damit nila na magagara, magaganda. Hindi lamang yung pag-inimbitahan sila, kailangan na sa presidential table sila. Hindi lamang na kapag sila ay magdasal, kailangan makita ng tao at mapapansin sila. Merong observation pa sa ang Panginoon na hindi nila akala. At ano yun? Yung siyema. Yung nakalagay na parang sa atin siguro anting-anting yung nilalagay na pula sa mga damit ng papa. Sa kanila dito eh. 
siya matawag ng lahat. At kung ano ang nakalagay doon. So our Lord just simply answered what is inside, what is written in that reminders of the Israelites. Hear, o Israel, the Lord of God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. But Jesus added the second one. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Kaya, anong sabi ng nagtanong? Well said, teacher. You are right in saying. So sa kanilang tanong mismo, hinuli sila ng ating Panginoon. But then, on our part, paano naman? Paano naman tayo kung ang utos ng Panginoon ay to love God with whole our body? Eh, paano naman tayo mga devoto ni Maria? About us, devotees of Mary, who also said, I love Mary. Bukas, fiesta ng mga santos. Ano naman yung pagmamahal ko kay St. Joseph? Kay St. Jude? Kay St. Uh, Anthony Padua? Kay St. Roque? Nakikita ko yung mga tao ko minsan eh. Nakababay dito sa mga santo eh. Sa loob. Hindi kaya magsisilos ang Diyos sa palagay nyo? Hindi kaya magsisilos ang Diyos sa ating pagmamahal sa kanyang ina na kuminsan eh sabi ng mga ibang reliyon eh we worship Mary we worship the saints hindi kaya magsisilos ang Diyos sa ating pagbibigay tugay sa ating pagbibigay ng importansya sa kanyang mahal na ina, sa kanyang foster father, at sa kanyang mga kaibigang mga santo. Magsiselos kaya ang Diyos. Magagalit kaya ang Diyos. Kung tanong niyo ako, mas magagalit ang Diyos kapag makita kanya sa loob ng simbahan, sa panahon lamang ng binyag, sa panahon ng libing, at sa panahon ng kasal. Mas magagalit ang Diyos. Kaysa makita kanya dito, araw-araw siguro, o oras-oras, na nagdadasal. Bakit? Kasi, When we love God with all our hearts, our soul, our mind, our strength, ang ibig sabihin na buong buo tayo ay para sa Dios. Ang buong katawa natin, ang buong pagkatao natin ay pag-aari ng Diyos. So whatever we share comes from God. At matutuwa ang Diyos. Kung dahil sa pagmamahal natin sa Kanya, we extend that love. Lalong-lalo na sa Kanyang ina. Diba? Diba? Meron bang tatay na nagsiselo sa kanyang anak kapag mas mahal niya yung kanyang ina, yung kanyang asawa? Yes, asawa na niya yun eh. Bakit pagsilusan pa niya yung kanyang anak kung binibigyan ng atensyon? Magagalit ba ang Diyos kapag respetuhin natin yung mga kaibigan niya? 
yung mga santo, magagalit ba? Mas magagalit siguro ang Diyos kapag ninampastangan natin ang mga imahin kung saan atin hindi naman silang niwo-worship, kunit nirespeto. It would be a desecration. An insulto din sa Diyos. Bakit? Dahil mahal ng Diyos siya niya eh. Mahal ng Diyos ang kanyang ana, ang kanyang ina. Mahal ng Diyos ang kanyang foster father. Mahal ng Diyos ang mga santo. Kasi sila ay nagmahal ng Diyos sa buong puso. Buong kaliluwa. Buong katawan. Kaya nga, napakahigit, napaka-importante yung pangalawang utos ng ating Panginoon. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Kasi dito makikita na mapapatunayan natin ang ating tunay na pagmamahal sa Diyos. We cannot just say, I love you Lord, I love you God. Tapos na. Paano mo patunayan? na talagang mahal mo ang Diyos. It is just easy to express, I love you. But to prove it, that is the challenge. Katulad sa mag-asawa. Katulad yung nagliligawan pa kayo, di ba? Sabihin ng nagliligaw sa I love you. Eh, hanggang doon lang. So, anong sagot? Patunayan mo. Patunayan mo na mahal mo ako. At ano ang patunay? Challenge. Eh, sa isang araw, sampung pakete ng sigarilyo ang nauubos mo. Pwede pa ihinto mo yung pagsisigarilyo? Isang gabi, isang kaha ng serbesa ang nauubos mo. Pwede pa ihinto mo na yung pag-iinom, ang paglalasing. Kasi, baka naman pag mag-asawa na tayo, doon na lang pupunta ang pera na kinikita mo sa sigarilyo mo at sa iniinom sa alak mo. Wala ka nang may papakain sa mga anak mo. Wala ka nang ibabayad sa renta ng bahay. Oo. Oh. Di ba ganun? Dapat may patunay. Dapat patunayan. Hindi lang salita, ngunit patunayan sa gawa. At ito ang nilalaman ng utos na sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. You have to live it. You have to prove it. And proving it is to act on it. Dapat gawin. Ipakita mo. So, ang tunay na pagmamahal sa Diyos ay makita sa ating mga gawa sa mga kapwa. So, ang ginagawa natin na kabutihan na pagmamahal sa ating kapwa ay patunay ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. Magsiselos pa ang Diyos dyan? Dahil utos naman niya yun eh. Na mahalin natin, natin yung mga taong ito. Napatunayan natin ang ating tunay na pagmamahal sa pamagitan ng ating kapwa. Naalala ko tuloy yung uh, nangyari sa isang isla. Mayroong isang asawa, isang babae, na nagko-complain. At uli, palagi ko itong pinapuwento. Father, sabi niya, nagsusumbong, hindi na ako mahal ng aking asawa. Sabi ko, bakit na Bakit na Eh, alam ko eh, ikaw lang naman yung asawa niya. Wala naman siyang asawa o kapit. Wala naman kung alam na kapit niya sa mainland. Dito si Isla. 
Ikaw naman yung inuwi niya. Padal hindi eh. Sabi ko, ano bang patunay mo na hindi ka na mahal ng asawa mo? Sabi niya, Pada, hindi ba? Pagdating na nun dito, galing ng mainland, ay naatupag ay yung manok. Mabuti pa yung manok hinahaplos sa umaga, sa hapon. Sabi ko, oh, nagsisilos ka. Grabe ka, nagsiselos ka sa manok pa. Sabi ng asawa niya, Father, hindi totoo yan. Mahal na mahal ko yung asawa ko. Kaya nga itong mga manok na inalagaan ko ay para sa kanya. Kasi dagdag ito eh. Dagdag ito ng kita, mahal na manok. Di ba? Sa mga sabuguyero, magkano yung isang Texas? Yung kapatid ko, nag-alaga din ng manok eh, pero hindi nagsiselos yung kanyang asawa. Ang Diyos hindi magsiselos sa ating mabuting gawain. Ang Diyos ay tuwang-tuwa kapag tayo ay marunong magmahal. At ang pagmamahal na yan ay pagmamahal na makadagdag ng buhay, ng inspirasyon, at hindi pagmamahal na makapatay. I would like to share to you the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. At ito ay para sa ating lahat. We will be inspired more because St. Paul himself loved God so much. At kung ano man ang ginagawa niya sa mga tao, lalong-lalo na sa mga pagan world, kung saan siya pinagawa. Nagtutuwa ang Diyos. St. Paul wrote to the Corinthians, Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. But I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, And if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things. Endure all things. And this is what we should always remember when we go home. Love never fails. We all stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, 
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, in Jesus, we experience your overflowing love and mercy. We now pray to you to protect us from all hatred and strife, so that your peace may reign in our world. As we pray, Father, listen to our prayer. Father, listen to our prayer. For Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, all priests and deacons, may they be sacrament of Jesus' love through their faithful witnessing and selfless service. We pray. Father, listen to our prayer. For public servants and professionals, may they grow and prosper in love by serving the nation through daily offering of their labors and struggles. We pray. Father, listen to our prayer. For the victims of hatred, abuse, and indifference, may they not lose their trust and faith in the Lord and be empowered to continue to living their lives in the church. We pray. Father, listen to our prayer. For all of us who are affected in any way by this pandemic, may we find strength in the love of God, love that bears all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. We pray. Father, listen to our prayers. For our beloved dead, may they experience the everlasting love and forgiveness of God in the fullness of His kingdom. We pray. Father, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and their personal intentions. We pray. Father, listen to our prayers. We also include the intentions of this Mass. And let us uh, please remember those who are affected by this COVID-19 pandemic. We also pray for our frontliners, all those health workers that we have. And we remember also the family of those whose loved one died because of this illness. Almighty Father, me listening to your word and acting on it be that delight of our life. May our will be done, may your will be done in us amidst the joys and shadows of passing day. May we offer you all we are and all we have. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrificial offering, O so Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We leave them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to be right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever for to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while on this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal for having received the first fruits of the spirit through whom you raised up jesus from the dead we hope for an everlasting share in the paschal mystery and so with all the angels we praise you and in joyful celebration we acclaim you You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts you pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerard our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I left you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise to Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for your presence and especially for your active participation and cooperation during this Mass. would like to thank also for all our online devotees who join us during this Mass. Thank you very much. And let us pray for our uh, frontliners here, for our lectors and commentators, for our Eucharistic ministers, our ushers, security guards. And uh, also thank you very much for our choir for this Mass. So let us continue praying for each other. Let us remember that God loves us so much 
And that love of God will protect us if we also cooperate in protecting ourselves. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May I free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in His love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in His gifts of hope, faith and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Please remember the names of your loved ones who are sick. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. So be kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the own and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 